Hi, I'm Gary Cassiello, a partner here at Juddelson, Giordano & Siegel, and today we'll be speaking about matrimonial forensic accounting. A matrimonial forensic accountant is someone like me who specializes in a narrow scope of review of financial data. Specifically, in this case, we're looking to see if there are hidden assets or hidden income pursuant to a matrimonial action. The hidden assets could be anything as uh, easy as uh, bank accounts not disclosed to the other spouse, or it can be uh, assets that are more difficult to discover, things like the true value of a business that the other spouse is operating, who, because he or she understands that they're going through a matrimonial action, they start showing a lesser profit number to thereby devalue the business. Case studies are, are great things to use to illustrate how we work. And uh, the one that I'm going to take today is the pilfering pizza man. What happened was is that a uh, spouse came to me and said that there was a lot of cash around the house um, when, when they went on vacation or they needed clothes or they needed any kind of expenditure. All of a sudden, there would be just a pile of cash that would appear. Now that they were going through a divorce, the spouse who owned the pizza establishment claimed that he only made $26,000 a year, $500 a month. So we decided to investigate and find out whether or not this was an accurate measure of the business's income. And the way we did it was first we surveilled the property to see how busy the establishment was. And we found out it was very busy. And I said, well, how many waitresses do you have on staff? He said, over the course of the week, we have 10 you know, full-time equivalents. And I said, well, how much are they making? And he said, well, they're, they're making about um, $1,500 you know, per week. And I said, well, that, that really means then that you're doing $10,000 in sales. Isn't that correct? And he said, yes, that is correct, uh, because they're getting roughly about 15% of the gross sale price as a tip. I said, okay, that's interesting. So that means you're doing $10,000 a week in business. And uh, really, I should double that, because you said it's 50-50 with the um, takeout window. And he said, yeah, that's correct. So I said, well, that's $20,000 a week. And if you multiply that by 52 weeks, that's over a million dollars a year. And then I looked at him and I said, well, how come you only reported $700,000 on your tax return? And there was silence. With the $300,000 difference, we presented all this information to the attorney. So based on that, we then extracted a settlement on $250,000 instead of the $50,000 he was claiming as his income for that period. We're often called upon by the court to act as neutral advisors in matrimonial matters. We also provide training for law enforcement and fellow accountants. If you need our services, please contact us at 1-877-740-9500 or visit our website, jgspc.com.